I'm Directionally Challenged, and welcome to the world of Junie Tyson, the Zodiac War, with the all-star cast of boar, dog, chicken, monkey, sheep, horse, snake, dragon, bunny, tiger, ox, and rat. Now, I want to get into this more, I will get into this more at a later date, but I want to discuss right now the fact that the ending credits of this anime spoil the ending of the anime. I know that's a bit weird to say, but that's actually the truth. The ending credits spoil the end of the anime. You see, in the ending credits, it goes boar, followed by dog. Then, of course, you have chicken, once more followed up by monkey. And yes, it goes in that order. Boar, dog, chicken, monkey, sheep, horse, snake, dragon, bunny, tiger, ox, rat. That's how it goes. And that is the exact order they die in. And they die in that or Like, first episode, boar dies. Second episode, dog dies. Third episode, chicken dies. Uh, I think it's not until the fifth or sixth episode, though, that monkey ends up going out on the uh, old pasture. And then you get sheeps killed by tiger. Horses killed by bunny. Snake died at the start of the series, but his corpse has been around the whole since the start of the Junie Tyson. But Snake and Dragon's corpses are destroyed at the same time after Bunny kills the dragon, uses him for his own little puppet. Then Bunny is killed by a team up of Tiger and Ox. But he uses his ability as a necromantist to control dead corpses to control his own dead corpse. Very interesting, really. Um then he's he ends up trying to kill Ox, but Tiger leaps in the way, takes the hit for him. Boom, Ox lives, Tiger's stabbed through the gut. Tiger and Ox have a very touching moment, and Tiger asks Ox to be the one to kill her so that she does not become a puppet of bunnies. Then Ox is captured by the corpse of Monkey, as well as the weird meshed up corpse that Bunny has become, and Rat shows up with big boy explosive that sheep had been hiding and blows them all to hell. Now, there are a couple other spoilers in this, actually. In the opening credits of the anime, you see a scene of fire where Snake and Dragon are there, and then they're at the head is Bunny. And that's a little nod to the fact that Bunny's ability is to control the corpses that he kills. And that's also telling you whose corpses he's going to control, but at least you don't know that until you start the anime. Another thing that's actually foretold in the opening credits again is you get as close up on Bunny's face and you see an explosion in his eye. And that's kind of a little hint to you of how the entire anime ends with Bunny and everyone else being blown up by Rat. I want to go more in depth with this, but I want to keep this video short, and I just want you all to know how interesting it was that so much was given away in these openings and these endings of this one anime. It's bizarre. I've never seen that done before, and I hope I don't see it anymore, because while the anime was good, I think that the ending... After like four, after three episodes, really, I had already caught on and I knew exactly where it was going. Like, I knew for sure at that point that everyone was dying in order. And I just kind of was like, well, now I don't really like, I don't really mind to see how they die now. You know, I know how it's going to end. And, but I enjoyed the road to the end, except like eight or nine episodes in, then they decided to start adding in the 3D crud that I hate in anime nowadays. I don't know why they do it. It looks bad. It just doesn't look as good. So, all in all, I wanted to share with you guys the weird opening and ending of this anime. The fact that it spoils itself, you know, before you've ever even seen it. And I wanted to get your opinion. What do you guys think? What other animes are spoilerific in their opening and ending credits? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you later, navigators. Bye. Hey, thank you for watching. If you liked this video, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, leave a thumbs down. Either way, tell me in a comment down below. If you have any ideas for games you'd like to see me play on the channel, go ahead and leave that in the comments down below. And subscribe to become a navigator so I can finally know where the hell I'm going.